Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a little summer makeup tutorial using Zara Beauty. So I have already prepped my skin, I'm ready to start and I'm going to first go in with the Luminous Creamy Concealer in W910 and I'm just going to pop a bit on my eyelids just to prep them for my eyeshadow. I want to do a bit more of like a fun eye today i've been loving putting like fun colors under my eyes or just like on my eyes but not fully covered like a pop of color i'm just gonna blend this in and for my main eyeshadow i'm gonna be going in with the bronzing powder this is the shade 738 and i'm just gonna be sweeping this over my whole eye just so it like matches the rest of my face that is all done Nice and quick and easy. Now, this is gonna be a very hard decision, but I need to choose between these two eyeshadow palettes. I've got this first one, which has a nice ready orange and a really nice turquoise, which I am definitely leaning towards. I also really like this palette as well, with a darker purple and a lighter purple. But I did do like a purple eye look the other day, so maybe I'll lean towards, I think I'm gonna do this greeny blue turquoise. So nice. But before I do that, I'm actually going to put some black eyeliner on. This is the 807 Inky Dark, and I'm just going to do a little wing on each corner of my eyes. Perfect. Other side. That is so easy. I literally love this tip. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara, and I will be back to do the eyeshadow. So I'm all done with my mascara and I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put it. I think I'm going to put it under my eyes, but I might focus it on the outer corner, just under here. So I'm just going to take this little thin brush. I'm going to start light-handed with just a little bit of product and then I can build it up as I go along. Whoa, that is very pigmented. I'm basically just pushing the eyeshadow on and I'm going to bring it all the way under my wing as well. Oh my god, I love it. And I'm not bringing it all the way in, I'm sort of stopping in the middle of my eye. I am obsessed. I've been really enjoying not wearing any bottom mascara recently. Um, I feel like it keeps my face really lifted and especially with this eyeshadow, which is beautiful. I don't wanna cover it up. Also, I just feel like I need to take a second to talk about the packaging. Like, everything feels so expensive and lovely and heavy um, and such good quality. It's so nice and very aesthetically pleasing. So, moving on to skin, I'm going to be going in with the same concealer that I put to prep my eyelids before. And I'm going to go light coverage sort of summer. It's very hot today. It's very hot this week in the UK. So, I'm definitely going to apply it with a light hand. I like to apply my concealer to these points also like this to sort of lift my face and then around my nose because i always get some redness around my nose on any blemishes got a few spots on my chin seeing as i'm not using foundation make sure i cover everything that i want to i'm just going to blend that in lovely all blended definitely brightened my under eyes up a lot more they definitely needed that. And now I'm going to cream bronze. I'm using the shade N950, and this is the concealer just in a darker shade. This packaging as well. ASMR. I like to apply my bronzer quite high, kind of on top of my cheekbones rather than under. And then apply my blush like kind of where you almost think you should put your highlighter. Looking crazy. Now to blend this in, I'm going to be using the Kabuki foundation brush from Zara. That blended so nicely. I also like to sort of blend my bronzer into the apple of my cheek. I think it makes you look a bit more sun-kissed naturally. I love a bronzed forehead. Now I'm going to be using some cream blush. This is the Manifesto colour stick in M5144 and it's got like a magnetic how cool is that love it and like I said before I like to go above where I put my bronzer almost where you'd think you put your highlight 
Oh wow, it's got a really nice shimmer to it as well. I'm gonna go in with the same Kabuki foundation brush. It's got a really nice glow to it as well. Now, I'm trying to do it a nice and glowy look, so I'm gonna stick away from the powders, but I am gonna use a bit of this bronzing powder to contour, just get my cheekbones really sharp. And for this, I'm gonna use the small blush brush, just so I can really get in there. And I'm gonna repeat on the other side. And now, on to the lips. I'm going to be using the Stiletto Demi Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Nude Premier. I want to keep the lips nice and light, because we've obviously got some turquoise on the eye. So I'm going to focus this on the outside of my lip, and just pat it in with my finger. I have been absolutely obsessed with lip oils recently, so on top of that, to finish this off, I am going to be using the Jelly Lip Oil. It smells so good and it feels so nice. That's what I love about lip oils is like, they look amazing but they also feel good for your lips. So at the end of my makeup routine, I always just like to look over everything that I've done and touch anything that I want to up. I am literally obsessed with this makeup look and this makeup routine using Zara Beauty products. I love every product I used. I think they're amazing. You can see for yourself. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.